Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, I am here with custom knife maker, Ken Cardwell. And uh, Ken actually is the one who taught me how to do my very first bow drill fire. He's been a survival instructor for many years and a custom uh, knife maker for many years. And we're in his shop. And I've had a lot of you guys ask me about how I put the 90 degree spines on my knives. And I actually do it in his shop on his uh, belt sander. So I'm going to do that for you guys. But uh, first I wanted Ken to go ahead and show off some of the knives that he makes. Um, he custom makes knives, takes orders, and I'll put his contact info in the description. But just to give you guys a reminder, this is the Ochiko EDC knife. And it is a knife that I designed and I brought my design over here to Ken and uh, he made it a reality for me. And so these are still available through Ken. And he's also doing some Kydex sheaths and things. But uh, I'm going to let him step over here and show you guys some of his work. So yeah, I make uh, pretty much all kinds of knives. Uh, I know these bigger knives are kind of popular. And wooden handles. I use, uh, uh, like this one is uh, uh, Makarta. And one of my favorite ones, uh, I use uh, 1095 steel and 5160. This one here is kind of a cool one. It has the Hamon in it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, it has that with uh, orange liners. And I just enjoy making knives. And I'll like make neck knives. Get down to six layers here. Kydex sheath with a little carver knife and has a scandy grind. Make all kinds of grinds and stuff and I cater to whatever people like. Usually I make a knife and then just put it out there. So um, that's kind of my gig and we'll show you a little bit about the shop in a little bit here. You also started making some sheaths now, right Ken? Some Kydex sheaths? Yeah, the Kydex sheaths are uh, really fun to make. Um, they're, they're pretty uh, contrary, but once you get the hang of it, you should hear a click here, not very loud, but uh, they hold the knife really well. And I like leather as well. It's a little bit easier on the knife and softer. So uh, Kydex is fun. All right, guys, so I'm going to pause you for a minute. We're going to reset up, and I'm going to go ahead and take one of these knives. I, uh, my favorite of the ones he showed you happens to be this one, and it has a soft spine on it right now, so I'm going to put a nice, sharp, 90-degree spine on this knife and uh, show you guys how I've been doing that with all of my Essies and Beckers and other knives that you've seen. Okay, guys, I moved around here. This is the knife. I'm going to put a... 90 degree spine on. This is 1095, isn't it, Ken? 1095 carbon steel. And here we go. I usually test it on my finger. Getting there needs a little bit more. One more pass, I think we'll have it. That should do it. Okay guys, so we got our 90 degree spine on here now. You can see from the shine how sharp that is. That's the way I like my knives. Barrel rod. So there you go guys, and uh, I will give you a tour of Ken's shop, and then I also want to mention that he is a champion tomahawk thrower, so we're going to do a video in the future, and he's going to uh, teach me how to throw these things, and 
It's either going to turn out really cool or his neighbors will be moving out because tomahawks are flying at him. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let Ken explain a little bit about his shop. So Ken, you want to tell him about this sander we were just using? Yeah, this is a 2x72 belt grinder. It has a uh, speed uh, indicator where you can change the uh, speed rotation. It uh, has a couple horsepower motor, a big motor, so you can do a lot of work with it. I've changed the platen here so that uh, the shelf is a lot longer so you can do really big knives. I have a, uh, a guide that I use that uh, you put the knife out here and so you can do a really long knife with it. Nice. And we need to take a break here and present uh -oh. <laughs> the videographer with a birthday apple because it's his birthday today. Yay. I'll I'll turn this right around. <laughs> All right, guys. So here, let me turn around for you. So Ken also used to be a clown at one time and learn how to make balloon things. So he's made me a balloon apple for my uh, birthday. So it'll be a week or two probably before you guys see this video, but uh, we're doing this on my birthday. So this is very, very cool. All right, let me turn back around here, Ken. All right. So yeah, the shop has a lot of things and sometimes you don't see everything. Like this uh, blue thing here is when I'm uh, sanding the knife down, I'll put it in and, and sand the blade down. This is a... Uh, a saw that I can cut metal with or wood. Most of the time I cut wood scales with it or kydex or whatever the case is. But a really a nice saw. It will cut steel too though? Yeah, cut nice. steel. Uh, I just put a finer uh, grit or uh, blade on it. have a bunch of other odds and ends around here. Uh, move over to the wall here. These are just some of the knives I've made. But uh, when I first started making them, I did not make a blank and so you learn as you go but uh, that way you can grab a knife and then go ahead and uh, or a blank and make a new knife with it and you get exactly what you did before like, so I see some blanks laying up there Ken right now yeah this one here happens to be your blank that I just made an extra one in steel nice. so that it's kind of ready to uh, make another one my, one of my students is making this out of a farrier's rasp, um, and he forged this one, and we'll show you the forge in a second, and then he went ahead and ground it, and, well, like, uh, these are kind of some mistakes, knives that have gotten up here. Gotcha. And uh, here's a really bad mistake. Oh, yeah, well, I was pounding I was this, say. and it hit a piece <laughs> of steel. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. And then the shelf here has uh, a bunch of storage stuff. I got uh, G10 for liners. And uh, if you turn around the other way, this shelving has a whole bunch of uh, wood and uh, oh, okay. So you got different kinds different of wood and for different handle material. Materials up there for handles. Yeah. Micarta and all of it, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. So, G10, micarta, all kinds of different exotic woods, all stabilized. Nice. And then uh, this array of miscellaneous down here is the tools for the forge. Wow, that's so, a collection. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of, and you keep accumulating. And safety is really an important factor in a knife shop. Like, I cut my hand really bad right here using this in a knife handle. The knife swung around and cut me. Wow. Oh. So... These are kind of important to uh, be careful of. You can use vices and put your knife in between there and be safer. Gotcha. The thing over here, uh, the buffer, most knife makers agree that's one of the more dangerous uh, articles that you can use. You put, you're only supposed to touch this area right here. Gotcha. And you polish your knives with it. They can eject out each way and... Uh, get stabbed pretty easily you go over here in the forge i do all my heat treat and uh and forging in this shop right here i'm going to have it framed in with uh, wood and have a regular little building here but it has two forges in it this is i 
say a to die for forge it's a hell's forge and you can make a really long blade with it oh wow okay and this little guy up here i use it quite a bit for uh, smaller knives but you need a longer forge for your heat treat right if you look down this way on the floor over here i have uh you have to have a special oil for 1095 oh okay and uh that's uh parks 50 oil and so you got to know how to uh heat treat a knife this is main anvil i use there's one underneath here and then this little guy here i also will um heat treat the 5160 with this oil which is just mostly canola oil i use you okay. don't have, to have anything special for that right but it's a nice little area for, to do your heat treat and uh, all your work to... and, and you're doing everything from start to finish handles knife cutting the steel everything all yourself and... everything tempering the whole works yeah and if someone wanted one of these patterns that's up here on the wall if they saw one that they uh one that they particularly liked you could just use that or if they had their own design like i did you can uh bring that design into a reality right i've had people uh, make a drawing and then they take a picture of it and send it to me in email and then i duplicate it and then i send it back to them and we make some adjustments and so it it all works out sooner or later very cool i have a three or four sheath makers uh one of the main sheath makers is the one that does dan's work for me for him she's a great sheath maker and then i have a couple others too like somebody that would do uh some inlays for uh for the knife so, so that's got like uh is that a snake skin yeah snake skin so is this one here isn't it right it, both the rattlesnake yeah gotcha okay yeah, you got a lot of accumulation in a knife shop that you don't ever see all the tools like all the stuff that you have to clamp with when you glue a handle all the different materials and the acetone and all, tape and everything everything you need yeah the dremels right. and there's so much stuff nice but fun nice all right guys so there is ken's knife shop he showed you some of the knives that he's custom made and uh I put that 90 degree spine on that's how I've been doing it so if you see something that you liked or you have a design that you'd like to bring to life um, his contact info will be in the description and as I said in the not too distant future he's gonna teach me how to throw these and uh, we're gonna do a video of that and like I said it's either gonna turn out good or you're gonna see video footage of his neighbors running away and possibly moving out <laughs> Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft guys thanks for watching and if you haven't please subscribe